Makarkos has warned the inquiry to treat the Premier's evidence with caution. I mean, she's all but saying he's lying. Yeah, Tom, this is a pretty extraordinary closing submission from Jenny McCarkos, the former health minister here in Victoria, to the hotel quarantine inquiry. Of course, we know she resigned as health minister because of evidence given to that inquiry by Premier Daniel Andrews, who effectively pointed the finger squarely at her, saying that she had full accountability and uh, responsibility for the program as health minister. Now, though, she's pointed the finger back at the Premier for subverting cabinet process is effectively saying that uh, if the traditional system of decision making had been used well uh, a lot of the problems with the hotel quarantine program would have been avoided and of course we know that infection breaches from the botched program are now to blame for well what's well over 750 deaths in Victoria. I'll read out some of the closing submissions written on behalf of Ms McCarkos by her lawyers. She says uh, the fact that no such cabinet or cabinet committee process was engaged for the setting up of the hotel quarantine program is the root cause of some of the issues which have been ventilated before the board in the course of this inquiry. Of course, those issues include uh, mixed lines of uh, responsibility and accountability, confusion over who had uh, responsibility for what, too many uh, cooks spoiling the broth, as Ms Makarkos called it herself in her own evidence to the inquiry back a few weeks ago, uh, as well as those decisions to use private security that no one can really track down who is responsible for. Council assisting, we heard uh, two weeks ago say that it was perhaps not a decision at all, rather a series of creeping assumptions, something that Premier Daniel Andrews sounded like he agreed with during his testimony, but uh, health minute, former Health Minister Jenny McCarkos has challenged that, saying that something as big and costly as a decision to use private security in a program like this must have been a decision taken by someone and it's one the Premier would have known about quite early on before in fact his 3pm media conference on the 27th of March. She says that in this regard it is respectfully submitted that the board ought to treat with caution the Premier's evidence where he sought to explain the reference to the use of private security in the hotel quarantine program made by him. Uh, she goes on to say as well in these closing submissions that the reason that ministers did not cross-examine the Premier or uh, other of uh, government ministers who were called before it is because they feared a political blowback, essentially that she did not question the Premier's evidence or did not question uh, Minister Pakula's evidence because she feared political fallout. So that's uh, pretty extraordinary stuff there, uh, as well as closing submissions today that have been tended to the website from uh, a list of other government departments and even the Chief Commissioner of Police. Uh, I'll be reading through them throughout the day and bringing you the biggest developments uh, as they come to hand, Tom.